Welcome back to my channel, Tech Savvy Bites. Would like to wish all my subscribers, friends, and those who are watching this video a very happy and a prosperous new year. I am back with another interesting and useful tool in Illustrator that is Rotation Tool. Before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and link on the bell icon to get notifications of my channel updates. So let's get started. First, let's create a star shape using Alt and Shift key. Now with help of selection tool, you will see a transformation box where you can hold the corners and rotate the shape. You can rotate the shape freely. But if you press shift key and rotate, you will notice that it rotates by 45 degree interval. You also notice that the shape rotates in its own position because the pivot point or the center point of the rotation is in the center of the shape. To see the pivot point or the center point, you need to select Rotate tool in the tool palette. See, this is pivot point or the center point of the rotation. I click in the center and then click on the edge of the shape and rotate. It rotates but in its own position because the pivot point is in the center of the shape. Now I click and move the pivot point out from the shape somewhere here. I click the edge of the shape and rotate. You will see the shape rotates around the pivot point. Now I place the pivot point here and rotate. You will notice that the shape rotates from that point. Okay, now let's make the star a bit smaller, pressing shift and all keys. Using rotate tool, I click and place the pivot point here as you see. Now pressing alt key, I can create a copy of the shape. You can create multiple duplicates using Ctrl D on the keyboard. You will notice that an interesting design has been created with equal gaps except for the last star. It is overlapping with the next star. So to avoid this, let's undo. I select Rotate tool, but this time I need to press Alt and click to open the Rotate panel window. In the panel window, you just need to type 360 degree, which means one full rotation divided by how many copies you want to create. For now, I type uh, 10 and click on copy button. You see, a copy is being created. Now press Ctrl D to create multiple duplicates. You will notice now that all the shapes are being distributed evenly. Now select all the shapes and group it by pressing Ctrl G on the keyboard, make it small and keep it aside. Now select ellipse tool and create oval shape just like this. Using direct selection tool, select top and bottom anchor points and click on corner icon to remove the curve from the anchor points. You get to see a shape like this. Using selection tool, I resize the shape. Give it a black fill color and remove the stroke. Rotate the shape to 45 degree using shift key. Right click, go to transform and select reflect. In the reflect panel, keep the axis to vertical and click on copy button. Place the duplicate shape like this. Select both the shapes, reduce the size and using shift key, rotate just like this. Select rotate tool, press alt and click here to create a power point. In the rotate panel, type 360 degree divided by mm, say 20 and click on copy button. You will see a duplicate shape is being generated. Now press Ctrl and D for several times to get multiple duplicates just like this. Okay, now let's select all, group and resize it and keep it here for now. Now let's take pen tool and make an arc shape like this. Now select Rotate tool, press Alt and click to place the pivot point on this anchor point. In the Rotate panel window, let's type 360 degree divided by say something like um, 35 and click it on the copy button. Now press Ctrl and D for several times to get multiple duplicates, just like this. An interesting pattern has been created. Now let's select all, 
group and resize it and keep it here for now. Now let's create some other interesting design. Using ellipse tool, create an oval shape like this. And with the help of direct selection tool, select the top anchor point, click on corner icon in the option bar to remove the curves from this anchor point. Select the center anchor points and move it a bit down, pressing shift and down arrow key on the keyboard, just like this. Give any color and apply stroke to the shape. Select Rotate tool, press Alt and click on the bottom of the shape. In Rotate panel, type 360 degree divided by let's say um, um, 18. Click on the copy button. Now press Ctrl and D for several times to get multiple duplicates. You get to see an amazing floral like pattern. Now let's select all, group and resize it and keep it here for now. Now I make a circle. I also create a star here. I want the star to rotate and make copies around the shape. To do this, I need to first define the center point of the circle by using guidelines. For guidelines, I need to first activate the ruler by pressing Ctrl and R on the keyboard. Now you will see ruler on your artboard. This is called horizontal ruler and this vertical ruler. To create horizontal guideline, I just need to move the cursor over the horizontal ruler. Click and drag over the artboard. Release the mouse. To create a vertical guideline, I just need to move the cursor over to the vertical ruler. Click and drag over the artboard and release the mouse. Now I move the circle over the cross section of the guideline. Make sure that the center point or the pivot point of the circle touches the cross section of the guideline. Now place the star right in the center of the guideline. Scale down a bit. Select Rotate tool, press Alt and click on the cross section of the guideline. In the Rotate panel, type 360 degree divided by let's say 20 and click on the copy button. Now press Ctrl D to create multiple copies around this circle shape. Let's select all, group and resize it and keep it here for now. Right now I'm going to get rid of this guideline. So just press Ctrl and semicolon on the keyboard. The guidelines gets hidden. Now I'm going to make an alarm clock which can be one of the best example of using the rotate tool. For the alarm clock, I need to first make a body. First, I create a circle and apply blue fill to it with no stroke. Copy the shape and paste right on top of this blue shape by pressing Ctrl and F. Now scale down the shape a bit smaller using Shift and Alt keys. Give it a white fill. Again, copy the shape and paste right on top of this white shape by pressing Ctrl F. Now scale down the shape a bit smaller. Give it an orange color fill. So my body is ready. Select all the shapes and group it. Once it's been grouped, now I need to create hour and second shape. I need to unhide the guidelines by pressing Ctrl and semicolon again. Drag the body over the cross section. Make sure that the center pivot point of the shape is exactly over the cross section. Just like this. Now I make a small circle. Fill it with white color. Select Rotate tool and press Alt and click on the cross section. In the Rotate panel, type 360 degree divided by 12 and click on copy button. Press Ctrl D to create multiple copies just like I'm doing. So the hour stamp is ready. Now I need to create seconds. For this, I create a vertical rectangle. Give it a yellow color. Zoom in to make sure that the rectangle is aligned to the guideline. Zoom out. Select Rotate tool, press Alt and click on the cross section. In the Rotate panel, type 360 divided by 60. 
and click on a copy button. Press Ctrl D to create multiple copies just like I am doing. Once it's done, I need to manually remove the rectangle that is overlapping the circle. Press Shift key, select all the rectangles and delete. Second stamp is ready. Now I'll be making a minute stick using the line tool. Draw a line tool using shift keys. Increase the stroke. Change the stroke color to yellow. Apply width profile 4 style to the stroke. Now I need to convert the stroke into fill by going to object and select expand appearance. You can now see that the stroke is being converted to fill. Rotate the shape just like this. Right click, go to transform and select reflect. In the reflect panel, make sure that the axis is vertical and click on a copy button. Adjust the anchor point to make this an R stick. Make a small circle shape just like this. Change the color to orange. Make one more line and this is going to be a second stick. Give the stroke value and change the color to black. Right click, go to arrange and send it back. Now group all the shape and place it over the body. Adjust the anchor points as required. Now it's time to create an alarm. Create a circle. Using selection tool, drag the point to make it a semicircle. Resize it. Create a rectangle shape and fill it with orange color. I select this circle and fill it with blue color using the eyedropper tool. Place the rectangle behind the circle. By right click, go to arrange and click send to back. Now I need to make an arc shape at the side of the semicircle using the pen tool. Fill white color. Now I create a small circle shape. Fill it with orange color. Place it over the circle just like this and send it back. Select all the shape and group it. Rotate and place it just like this. I need to set it behind by right clicking, go to arrange and click on send to back. Again right click, go to transform and click on reflect. In the reflect panel, make sure axis is vertical and click on the copy button. Drag the copied shape on the other side just like this. Now I need to make a stand. Using rectangle tool, create a shape like this and give a curve to the corners. Rotate and place it just like this. Right click, go to arrange and send it back. Again right click, go to transform and click on reflect. In the reflect panel, click on the copy button. Drag the copied shape on the other side. See, a simple vector alarm clock is ready. To get rid of this guideline, press Ctrl and semicolon to hide it. I also need to get rid of the ruler. Press Ctrl R on the keyboard. So now I am sure you all understood about the rotate tool and how to create interesting vector patterns and shapes. Bye for now and I'll be back again with some more interesting videos.